today we're going to be showing you how to convert this here rusty old beach cruiser into a nice spanking new electric bike. So this build is going to cost you about um, $450 plus the bike. This build is going to add about 30 pounds to your bike, and but it's going to make it go a lot faster so you got to consider that. So the front wheel that we got with the kit was a thousand watts and 48 volts and then the battery that we bought was 48 volts and 15 amp hours. On this table we have everything that we're going to be using for this build laid out and so here's the stuff that we had to buy separately from that kit which is the bike rack right here that was about 20 bucks and then the battery which was 300 and then we have the charger right here the battery is uh, lithium ion and it weighs about 10 or 11 pounds we weighed it a few minutes ago uh, we did the same with the wheel and the wheel came out to be about 18 pounds so here's some of the stuff we got the hub right here this is where all the good the goodies are that's what's going to convert your battery power into motion power and um, this right here is going to connect it's like the brain of the bike it's going to connect the battery to this to the throttle it's basically the epicenter where everything meets up and talks to each other these right here are the brakes um, so I don't think you really need to use these because what it's going to do is when you pull it in is just disengage the battery it's going to make sure the battery's off but you could just do that by not twisting the throttle so it's more of like a safety thing I don't know if we're going to put those on yet but we'll see um, and then throttle right here and then some other crap that we'll go over later so what I'm going to do before we start is take the old tire and maybe inner tube depending on how what kind of shape the one in there looks like and I'm going to swap it for for this one just because I want to keep the same look and I think it'll perform better than this crappy Chinese tire. So when I was taking the tire off, I noticed that there's no rim strip in there. So that's pretty dangerous. I mean, not really dangerous, but it just means that you can get a flat super easily. So you want you probably want to check for that in your kit and put one in if there isn't one, just because that's really dumb to not have one in there. So if you're not familiar with what a rim strip is, it's basically a little piece of rubber that goes around the inside of the rim right here to cover up the places where the spoke meets the rim because uh, those little holes right there could puncture your tire or yeah that's mostly it, just puncture your tire. So he's running it, he's doing a layer of cloth tape and then I'm taking the old rim strip from the other bike which is basically just a piece of rubber um, and we're just doing this to make sure that we don't have to change the tire a lot on this bike so yeah so right now we're gonna put on that rack which is gonna hold the battery um, on the back of the bike and then it's gonna have wires that go to the front and power the front wheel so let's get it on there the frame on your cruiser should have mounting points for a rack like this so you can see we have one one here and one there we're gonna put it on the on the back setting and then um, there's another place right there where it connects on top so that's three um, security points that you're gonna secure down so that was the bracket I was talking about right there and it connects that part of the frame to the rack All right, right now we're gonna put the the wheel on the bike um, we don't have it hooked up to anything yet but we're just gonna have it on the there washer config so there's a nut, there's a washer with a little tab on it that goes on the outside. Then there's another washer we're going to put on the inside. The kit said to put this washer on the outside, but we're going to put it on the inside because I think that's what they meant. So the little tab keeps it from spinning inside of the fork, so it's pointing down. So when we check the voltage with this wire that came with the wheel kit, um, you can see we have black to black and red to red like you normally would, but this is actually negative, you see that negative sign? So that means we have to reverse the polarity by just switching them around. So this is something you need to keep in mind. Um, it's always good to check this stuff because it seems like um, this stuff's conflicting so there might not be a standard in China for this kind of thing, so just check your stuff before you put it on because you don't want to fry your battery or anything like that. So yeah. All right, so we don't we don't want to cut and splice a bunch of wires. So the thing that holds this into this connector is this little bottom tab. So you can reach in there with the bent paper clip. Of course, make sure it's turned off so you don't get electrocuted. And then bend this little tab down here, up, and then pull it out. And then we're just going to switch black to red and red to black.
So now we're just flipping the the position of the red and black wires yeah. to reverse the polarity. And then look at our picture to make sure we didn't we're putting it together the right way. Black on top. Don't do this unless you have a trained electrician and it's stuff on a closed course. Black on top. Click, you hear that click? That was healthy. So now, folks, plug that in. Where is it? Oh, so now, folks, plug that in, it's gonna work. The grips have a little Allen key right here, so what you're gonna do, just loosen that up and then slide it on and then tighten it again once it's on the bike. So you see that? Slide it on there. Okay, so we have two of these metal brackety things. I don't really know what they're called, but they have a bunch of holes punched in them. So what we're going to do is sandwich the rack. We're going to put one under right here and one on top. And then on top of that, we're going to put the thing that the, that the battery slides into, which came with the kit. So we're going to set this up, and we'll film it so you can see how we did it. So this is going to be where the battery slides onto the rack. Um, you can see that we had to grind down the screws right there so that the battery has clearance to slide over them. Um, it's kind of a bad design, but... We're working on what we got. Wham! And then down here is a pin, and you have a key. Might not be in the right place. Oh, okay. Unlocked, yeah. and then locked. On the key, you have you have to push it in, and then you have unlocked, off, and locked, and then on and locked. So they give you three modes, which is good. Um, because that way, if, if you want to leave your bike and you want to leave the battery in it, you can lock it in there and no one will be able to pull it out. So now, I'm going to slide the throttle into place, and it's the same thing we did on the other side, and except it's just on the opposite side of the bike. So make sure that the throttle goes on the right side of the bike, because that's where you want it, otherwise it's going to look goofy and be feel goofy, and you don't want that, so just put it on the right side originally. So there we go. Then I'm going to tighten it down and we'll be good. So this bag right here is made to hold the brain of the bike and uh, it has this hole right here with a little metal ring and that's so you can run the wires outside the bag um, efficiently. So you're just going to unclip it like that, push it out of there and then you can reroute it through that hole and plug it back in and you're just going to do that to everything that you're going to be using. So we're doing it for the throttle and then obviously the connection to the motor but we're not doing it for the brakes because we're not going to put them on. And also there's a pedal assist thing that we're not doing either because um, we just don't have to and it seems kind of pointless. So once you have all your zip tying cable management done and everything's plugged in, you're good to go as long as you turn the ignition on. So let's see how it rides. <laughs> Burnout! Too damn fast! You have 3 BMX! All right, so we've got we've got now a speedometer hooked up, so uh, and a, and a headlight right here. We're gonna get turn signals too. So I'm gonna go. I know where a, a speed speedometer thing, like you know those signs that say watch your speed. I know where one of those is, and it's on a it's on a downhill. So we're gonna go try and see if we can set the land speed record for a bike on this electric bike. So let's see, 14. Good. This is good. We're the only ones on the road.
Yeah.